Hi folks, I'm Tony. And I'm Tina. And, and we're, we're TNT, TNT RVing. And today I wanted to show you how we're going to dewinterize Bell. And those of you who don't know, Bell is our Rockwood Mini Light 2205S. So today, first off, I was going to show you what the inside of our water heater looks like. And I was actually quite surprised. I already pulled the anode rod and did a little sneak peek. My friend Marshall let me borrow his bore scope and I was quite surprised the mineral buildup still on the heating element on the bottom of the tank along the sides. And we have about, what, let's see. A season and a half. A season and a half of usage. And we've traveled all around uh, the eastern part of the U.S. and had a, ver a variety of different types of, of water and stuff, but really quite surprised the buildup that we had there. And that's after flushing it out at the end of last season. Yes. So along with that, we're going to show you the process I used to, to blow out the lines and sanitize the fresh water tank along with sanitizing the lines. And we're... So, doing this and just so you know we are dewinterizing but it still feels like winter out here that's why we're in our winter coat. Yeah, it's like 40 it's like some degrees, degrees so. today and it <laughs> and is <windy>. it's <laughs> going to be warming up here we hopefully hope. this this next week or so but uh we're going to get started and bring you along oh my god i went flew away holy cow so here's a better view of our water heater this is a suburban water heater and as i said we had already took a sneak peek in here this is our magnesium anode rod. I prefer that over the aluminum. I uh, feel that it reacts a little better than the aluminum rod does. All right, does. so we're gonna go in and take a look here inside the water heater bottom. And you can see some of the minerals and stuff that even though I flushed it all out that there's still some remaining. And then I'm gonna try to bring it up there's the heating element so look at all the buildup on the heating element so what i am going to do is i'm going to show you how we're going to clean this thing up all right so we're back in bell and i wanted to share with you our water heater and show you once again that it is in bypass so the cold water will go in through here the valve is switched so it will go through and go back out so it'll bypass the water heater and since we're inside and it's warmer than it is outside i wanted to show you what we have here and how we're going to pump the vinegar into the water heater and this is from our winterization video i had and this is the most recent purchase is this adapter here where this has a three quarter inch pipe male uh thread along with a female hose uh, thread part, threaded part there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this quarter turn valve on that. This is gonna go into the water heater. I'm gonna go ahead and just simply pump the vinegar into it. Once it's full up, then I'll close the valve and that's how we'll leave it with the, uh, the vinegar in the tank and hopefully not only demineralize, but this is also gonna sanitize our water heater. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up outside and then I'll show you how we'll, we'll fill that up. What's the blue thing? This here is the Teflon tape that I use to wrap around the threads oh, okay. so we don't have any leaks. Got it. So I'm gonna go outside and get this all hooked up and then we'll bring you out and show you how we'll fill up the water heater with vinegar. Alrighty, here's the vinegar we're using. It's a 5% mix and I am pumping it using this. And here you can see our fittings that I showed oh, you wait, earlier. Oh, not up there yet. Oh, there's the pump. Yep. And then here's our fittings with the valve. And I was fortunate this just cleared the bottom here when I was turning that in. So it does work, work well. And I have the, uh, the blow off here over pressure relief valve open and just simply pumping the vinegar in. You can see the clearance there. So I'm going to continue doing this. It really doesn't take too much effort. 
I know I could probably have a funnel and you know bring it up high and do it but this isn't really so bad so that's how we're gonna do it okay so we have um, four and three quarter gallons of vinegar and I ran out of vinegar so I used a little bit of water and as you can see it's coming out the uh, the vent there and yeah, it is. so that's good I feel confident that that has enough of the mixture in there now what we're gonna do is we're going to shut this off Oops. here so now I can just simply remove this line and I can just leave it sit like that so what I am gonna do actually is I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this on and actually warm up this mixture. So here we have the uh, gas burner on and also have the electric on. And I'm gonna heat this up for a while. All right, so I am going to shut off our gas heater and the electric heater for now. I let that mixture heat up a little bit and I do not want to have it create too much pressure. So we're going to shut that off. All right, so we're back here at the water heater. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this open and I'm going to relieve some of this pressure. And actually, that's not bad at all. So our mixture's warmed up. I was trying to be cautious. I don't want this thing to um, build up too much pressure but I also wanted it to heat up. So that's why I shut it off. So we're not going to uh, be heating this up to, what is it, a hundred and, oh, I forget how many uh, degrees this thing, maybe 120 degrees or so, but they do get warm. So proceed with caution if you choose to do this. All right, so we're back outside and we're at the city water connection. I have uh, fresh water hose hooked up and regulated. So now I turned water on. Uh, so let's go inside and hopefully we don't have any leaks. But let's see what we got going on. Oh, I have the, <laughs> I forgot I already turned on the sink here. And apparently everything is flushed out. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go here to the kitchen and we're gonna flush all the pink out. Oop, and of course we do get a little splash. So that is running clear. And then now we'll go that side. And that is running clear. Go back to the that's good all right so then as far as the shower goes turn that on and make a mess sorry Tina and that pink and coming out clear now so that's pink and coming out clear and the reason I do this first is because of the shower miser which is a neat, neat feature I'm gonna shut this off so you can hear me but what we want to do is because of the shower miser uh, the way this works is you can turn the hot water on when the water runs through this blue elbow here and actually warms up, it will turn white. So you know that you have hot water and it conserves water when you're boondocking and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this on because when I winterized it, uh, I filled that up with antifreeze. So the fresh water tank is going to have antifreeze in it. So essentially I'm gonna back flush it, get that city water to the fresh water tank and clean out that line. I'll drain that 
and then what I'll do is I'll hook up the uh, actually put uh, 15 gallons or so of water in there with the bleach mixture and then pump that through the system so first off I'm gonna flush it all out with just the city water so and that should be good oops <laughs> There you go. All right, so we're gonna head out to the freshwater drain. And I'm gonna open this up and let's see, see all the pink that came out of there. So that would have been from the shower miser and that water that, that uh, or the antifreeze that I uh, pushed back in through that line and, and in there. So that's why I really didn't wanna fill the fresh water tank up first with uh, a sanitized water and run through the system because that is going to have uh, antifreeze in it and actually what I'm going to do is I will close this again and I'm going to go back in and I'm going to turn that shower miser on fill up that tank all right so we're back inside I'm going to turn the shower miser on so down position is on and it doesn't matter either hot or cold we're going to turn these on and I'm going to back feed essentially all that water uh, through that line and out the fresh water drain so let's go back out and see what that looks like so let's see what we have right here and sure enough there's oh more oh my gosh the color mozzie yeah so there's still a lot of uh that antifreeze in there and we'll flush that out of there first Actually, I like the way that's uh, looking. And we can probably start the sanitizing process. So let's close that up. And we're gonna go back inside. I wanna remove that water bottle that I put in the filter housing. All right, so we're back inside. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut the water off and the shower miser here and those goes towards the inside it's off now we're going to bring the shower miser lever here up and that is good so i'll go out once again drain that real quick come back in and i'm going to also um, shut off the city water because i don't want any water going to the rv right now because then now i'm going to remove the filter housing all right so the city water is off and now what we have to do is purge the water pressure off so you could go to any of the the faucets here and i'm going to turn this on and we're going to let that run till all of the pressure is off so let's go so either side and we're good so that relieves all the water pressure and we'll close that up so next step we're gonna go ahead and remove the filter housing underneath the sink here. Alrighty, so what I did, I put a towel underneath here and then I got the canister wrench and we're gonna sneak this on. And this can sometimes be uh, a little difficult to do. Actually, I don't like it in that position. We're gonna bring it over here. Yeah, well, let's bring it back over this way. And we're gonna try to loosen this up and there that worked out so that wasn't too bad and then fortunately I have the towel underneath here and you can see why I do this with the fresh water in it as opposed to having the antifreeze because then we have a big sticky mess underneath here so I am going to unscrew this carefully and hopefully not drop too much of it then I'm going to hand this. Well, we're going to have to dump a little bit. I'm going to remove this bottle. That'll help lessen the mess. And then we'll sneak it down here. <laughs> and then I'm going to hand this off to Tina going to dump this down the drain here you go and 
end. We're good there. So. So Tina's draining that. There you go. Take a look. Oh, hi. <laughs> so then what we'll Drained. do, we're going to put that back in. And then now we'll actually sanitize it with the uh, uh, mixture of bleach and water. And I believe it's quarter cup per 15 gallons. I'm going to double check that and get back to you is what There's we've so used in the past. Uh, so we'll, we'll get this canister back on and then we'll be uh, back with you. All right, we're back at the fresh water tank area here. I ended up putting some water in the, the fresh water tank and drain that once again. And now I'm going to close that up and I was right with my mixture. It is a quarter cup per 15 gallons. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add that to this. This is a six gallon uh, container that we carry with us. We actually have two of them and you might wanna pick them up because you never know when you run out of water or a water problem at a campground. Uh, at least you have the ability to load up your fresh water tank. These were, I picked this up at uh, Walmart. I, I forget what I paid for them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my, probably a half cup and throw put in 30 gallons uh, of water using this. And this actually meters out how many gallons of water I am uh, gonna be adding. So I will add a half cup of just regular bleach you don't want to use the um, the non-splash uh, type bleach, just your regular traditional Clorox bleach. And I'm going to add... Uh, Why not the splash stuff? Because it has other chemicals in it that you don't want to have in your, your water. Ooh. So that's why you don't want to do that. So now we're going to add... Let's see, what did I say? Quarter cup. And then there's a little over half. <laughs> so let's do... Let's do three quarters and I'll add 45 gallons. How's that? Let's see. We'll add, there's a three quarters cup of bleach. And then we will add 45 gallons of water. So, whoops, drain here. Made a little bit of a mess there. It's right. okay, it's not on us. No. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse that off a little bit. I could actually reset this. And then I'll just add some water in that. So. I'll put a couple gallons in this to get a good mix there pour this in and then we'll fill the remaining 45 gallons Let's see. Let's see here A gallon and a half six seven eight nine and there's two gallons so I thought put, you were putting 45 gallons in. I'm going to. Oh. But what we're going to do is use that instead of all the additional work of lifting this thing up. So let's open here. We'll set that right there. Pull up the pants. <laughs> and we're going to put <laughs> this mix in here now. And here but it's yeah, dumping in so. there so we'll do this and then I'll fill it up with 45 gallons and I'll get back to you so there's my helper sort of lost interest it's a little bit chilly out there She's tired. So at any rate, we are, freshwater tank is full up now, which is nice. So I'm going to turn on our water pump, which is right here. And 
You can hear it building up pressure. What I'll do is I'm going to turn this faucet on. Now this is, uh, we're gonna, we're smelling, there's a nice bleach odor to it. So that's what we're looking for. So we'll do that on this side. And is it, not quite yet. So there's a nice bleach odor to that. So let's go over to here. Let me get my water bottle out of there. We'll run this until we get bleach. Nope. Yes. There's a good bleach odor there. Let's do this. can do as well we could turn the shower miser on and actually run that and that'll just circulate to the fresh water tank shut that off let's go back here just test it Continue. We'll run that. That'll get that line good and clean. And in the meantime, we are going to hit this. All right, we're going to shut that off. Bring that back in off position. All right, out at the sh outdoor shower here. I'm gonna turn this on. And actually, I'm gonna rinse some of that vinegar that was on here. I don't want that staining. Just in case. So that's good. Now we're gonna do that side. One. Alrighty, feeling could have, pretty good about that. All right, so that should do it. We've got all of our uh, faucets uh, flushed out and it's nice and uh, smells that, that odor of bleach. So we should be in good shape.